Hey everyone, I'm Ryan Putnam, and uh, I was working with my friends at Figma, and they challenged me to do uh, 25 icons with varying different words and see how I'd approach it uh, using Figma. So. I usually start an icon project for like client projects or personal projects like a couple different ways. Um, I think about a couple factors. First, I think about like the context of these icons, some of the constraints. With Figma, um, like how I start thinking about this, kind of the, the context is this is gonna be an icon set that's widely available for other designers. Okay, that's one. This will probably be used like for iOS, Android, like across the spectrum. Um, and the constraints there are using Figma, keeping it like relatively simple because it's gonna be used by a wide range of people for different projects. Uh, so I'm going to like do a one color, two color. And another kind of constraint I give myself is to kind of stuff I've worked on personally before uh, to make it look like it is like a Ryan Putnam or whatever the fuck uh, that is like icon. Well, it pretty much means there's like some strong strokes. Um, so that's some constraints I gave myself. And that kind of bleeds into that brand element too. Like, so it's for its Figma, I'm not gonna do anything like super like bubbly pop or anything like that. It's very, Figma is very like modern in my point of view. Okay, so now we have like that scaffolding and structure. Now we can actually like start building it in Figma. I like to have, like I talked about kind of the, the context, the constraints. Uh, let me just kind of turn some of these off really quick and talk about them. I have a background color just I want a background color. I create this grid. If we zoom in here, that I have these these squares uh, that are 32 by 32. It gives me just like a good frame to like work in. Uh, then I have some labels labeling each different icon that I'm creating. And you could already see that I started building like a couple, a number of these icons. Um, and I like to create a good. Um, range of icons from the get-go to kind of talk about the different extremes that the icon could be conceptually. Uh, a good example is like maybe the setting icons or the new document. They're very like uh, straightforward, like very much um, the expected kind of icon that you would have. And then I created one for the play icon. I guess I could have done a simple like triangle icon, but I wanted to break away from that a little bit more and create something a little bit more fun. Uh, you can see kind of how this camera uh, kind of fits in the middle of like the settings and play. So it's like a little bit more playful, but it's still kind of straightforward. After I was working on these a little bit longer, um, you can see kind of some of this theme start to crop up the, these kind of older kind of technology, a cassette tape. Uh, the floppy disk, and this is kind of an old school camera, so I keep that in mind too, like when creating these. Um, let's probably just like get into one of these icons so you can see how I've been using Figma to uh, work with these. Using my rectangle tool. Let's put a stroke on here. And I like to keep everything as consistent as possible. You could look at these like different shapes I have here. The base layer has like some two pixel radius on it and most of these other icons with like the square uh, base have that. So let's put that back on there. Two. Okay, then I'm just gonna use my pen tool here. Let's see if I have this centered. Make sure it's like the same two points. Cool. I'm gonna bring this down a little bit. Let me just do it with this though. Okay, so again, pretty straightforward compared to some of these other ones, but in the line with a, a couple of these other ones. I'm gonna group all these together. Together. Send. Put them in my icons. Primary icons. And also might make uh, some other additions to it, kind of like I have on these other ones. 
Hmm, what else can we do there? I think that's a limited spot, so I think that one's good to go. So maybe we might try to add some of this these this fun to a couple of the different icons. Uh, let's look at a different one. Like, hmm. For location, we could do you know, my crappy drawings here. Uh, we could do some, like, you know, the most, like, kind of generic icons and even sometimes if like the sketches don't work out I'll use a reference for uh, noun projects to see what some of like the standard um, different icons people are doing location so again we got some of these these wayfinder compass that's kind of interesting um, hmm yeah, a lot of the kind of a lot of the kind of same things. It might be fun to do something like slightly different. Like what else represents location? Maybe like a building that like might be a little lost on people, but maybe that might be fun. Let's try it out. Let's see. Cuz we can always throw out together one of these pretty easy if that like doesn't work out. A building in that small of a place might be kind of hard. I have this like this marker that has like a chunky tip that I like because it's almost close to like my two pixel width stroke, and there is this also this like finer point to it. Your one pixel, um, but yeah, how do we make this like super simple building? Maybe that looks like a shop actually, more than anything. Maybe we can do this. I'm gonna try something more like this, like two, two or three different buildings. I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but let's just try it. Mm -hmm. We could keep them all pretty much the, oops, the basic shapes. Okay. This one might be a little bit bigger. And again, this might not work out, but Hey, let's, let's try it out anyways. I'll put corner radius just on these top ones. Two. Let's try this one. Awesome. Okay, let's try to use our line tool. These are going to Yeah, it kind of looks like buildings. Let's just keep going with it. Let's see what we got. This one may be different, kind of. So, looking at 100%, I do, I think it looks pretty good. Um, not a typical location icon, but maybe this would be fun, so. People can use it for, like, different things. 
I'm going to group this all together. Location. Toss it under my icons group. And then I'm also going to use my kind of secondary group where I have some of this white stuff happening. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to keep this one pretty basic with um, the different kind of white textures and everything going on because it's already uh, pretty detailed. We can always come back to it too, like to like make make some slight changes to it as well. I'll always uh, kind of turn off and on kind of some of the grid. Sometimes it gets in the way. Sometimes all this stuff gets in the way. Okay, that's cool. Okay, rounded some more of those corners. Let's like, that one's fine. What I also like to do is kind of create something, let it sit for a while, see how I feel about it, come back to it. <laughs> uh, step away from it. It's always good to like step away from everything. Okay, we're out of time for today. Hope you guys liked seeing uh, some, some of how I'm using Figma. You can screw with the files. I don't know, it'd be kind of cool to see like how you guys riff on some of the stuff I've done, or hopefully you could get some use out of it. But thanks, hope you like it.